In Bower Lake, starting inside the gypsy camp, if you turn around and head to the back of the area, go through the hole in the fence, which requires the quest, the Hero of Will. Continue following the path around to the left. As you follow the path around, you'll notice this ruined tower in front of you. The chest is going to be located against this at the bottom, to the right of the stairs. Now if you head back the way, Head through the gypsy camp and then across the wooden bridge continue straight ahead and then at the junction in the middle of the dark path if you go to your left up the grass the chest is going to be in between some rocks now Head back the way, over the stone bridge, then keep to your right and go underneath the wooden bridge, then go to your right again as if you're heading towards Brightwood. On the left hand side you'll see this ruined structure, go underneath the archway and go to your right for the chest. In Bowerstone Market, starting in the middle of the town centre, if you head towards Fairfax Gardens. Just before the entrance, if you go to your left past the metal fence, the chest is just located round the fence. Starting in Bowerstone Old Town, if you head straight through the tunnel, heading towards Rookridge. And on the left hand side, just before the entrance to Rookridge, you'll see the chest. Entering Bowerstone Cemetery from Bowerstone Old Town, if you head straight down the hill, follow the path around, underneath the stone bridge, head through the gates into the main part of the cemetery, and on the left hand side at the crossroads, the chest is located at the end. Now head back down, go to your left, continuing on deeper into the main part of the cemetery, up the first flight of steps, and then up the second flight. Turn around, head straight ahead into the building straight in front of you for the chest. Entering Fairfax Gardens, this one you must purchase Castle Fairfax. So head forward and into the castle. And you're wanting to head into the throne room. Go straight ahead and in between the last two pillars on the left will be the chest. Entering Rookridge from Bowerstone Old Town, if you head down the path and then go to your right when possible, the chest is going to be located at the end of the path. Now head back the way and then head to your right. Continue following the path around. And then, when possible, if you head to your right, you're going up a hill. And then go to your left through a wooden gate. Continue following this path. Round to the right. When crossing the rail bridge, just past the little mine shaft, on the right hand side will be the chest. Just outside the Temple of Light in Oakfield, you head down the hill and then go through the water, crossing to the other side. Follow this path and when possible if you go to your right. through this brick wall, continue following this path and at the end will be the chest. 
heading towards West Cliff from the Bandit Coast. Once you get to this uh, windy road, if you jump down the path to the left hand side, jump down again. Then if you go straight ahead, jump over the wall, chest is going to be on the other side. Starting at the entrance to Bandit Coast in West Cliff, if you head down the hill, continue on down. When you start to go up a hill, if you go to your left, follow the path around, straight in front of you will be the chest. Now if you turn back around, Head back down the small slope and then to the left. Continue on forward across the bridge. And then when possible if you go to your right, this chest will be located uh, just to the right. This is next to the shooting range. Starting at the entrance to Bower Lake in Brightwood if you head down the hill. And at the bottom if you go to your right. Then if you go to your right again up the stone steps, follow the path around and go up the stone tower. The chest is going to be located at the top of the tower. Now if you head back down, follow the path back around. And then at the end of the stairs, if you go left. And then if you go right through the gates. Continue following this path through the next set of gates. Go up the stone steps. Go up the second stone steps and then go to your right. Go down the next flight of steps. Follow the path around. Go down the next flight. And this time if you go to your left. At the end of the path will be the chest. Starting at the entrance to Bloodstone and Wraith Marsh, if you head forward, and then go immediately to your left, through the gates. Go across the stone bridge and the chests at the end. Starting at the entrance to Wraith Marsh and Bloodstone, if you head up the hill. And at the top of the hill on the right hand side will be the chest. <laughs> 